Hello everyone and thank you for joining me on a lovely summer day. Actually it is summer, I think the last time I mentioned it wasn't officially summer yet, but uh, as you can see it's, it's a nice day outside. But the nice day isn't the uh, reason why I'm smiling because uh, I got another press car and it's one that I've wanted for a long, long time. And I finally got it, but only for one day. And here it is. Oh boy. What you are looking at right now is a 2016 Mercedes S63 AMG. This has the 5.5 liter V8 twin turbo, well bi-turbo. And uh, this thing puts out like 550 horsepower. You can see my uh, piece of crap there that I gotta work on. But it's just, oh my God, it looks so amazing. It's a lot of little details. You can see the uh, Mercedes Benz in the light right there. Um, this is fully loaded. I mean, almost fully loaded. It has uh, some options that were left unticked because it is the AMG model. It's made more for performance than luxury, but that does not mean that it doesn't have a lot of luxury components in it. So this thing is just menacing. Look at that grill. See, this is used for the uh, radar guided cruise control. Looks a little bit odd to me, but um, in old Mercedes's, they, they really kind of didn't hide that well, and I think they hide it a little better in this one. This has a really nice metallic, metallic black. I don't know if you can see it. Um, let's see if I can get some, uh, some in the sun. Like, it's dusty, but there's like a, there's like a nice sheen to it. And it'd be even nicer if these birds didn't crap all over it. So, I don't know, I'm just, I'm just awestruck. I love, I love this car. I love the new Mercedes S-Class. Just look at these huge red brake calipers. What are these, six piston, eight piston? They're absolutely enormous. They're not ceramic like in the, uh, the C-Class, but uh, they get the job done. So let's see what it looks like on the inside. All I have to do is uh, press this button and check out what happens. Oh boy. Let's see. And there we go. This is about $160,000 worth of German luxury and refinement. I love the stitching on the seats. Um, this might not all be leather. I mean, it, it feels different. Um, this feels different than this. This might be leather or a different type of Napa leather or some sort of uh, the MB Tex, like the textured uh, vinyl that they use, that Mercedes uses. But it's, it's really nice, it feels durable, it feels like it's not gonna wear over time as much as uh, old Mercedes's would. So let's, let's get in. It's quite loud outside and it is extremely quiet in here. This car only has 2,340 miles on it. But, wow. So, right in front of you, you have two 12-inch LCD screens. One right there and one right there. And when I turn on the car, ooh, this thing is just a masterpiece of science and technology. And look at all these buttons. I mean, you're not gonna ever see this on a Kia, or I mean, you might see it on a Kia in, in like 20 years, but just, just check this out. So you have, this is steering assist, you have lane assist. So if you have both these on, uh, and you have the Distronic, uh, the radar guided cruise control, which is called Distronic in this car, that will basically drive the car for you. So you have Distronic um, set here, Distronic Plus. It will stop in traffic, it will go in traffic. Uh, it will basically maintain a set distance from uh, the car in front of you to your car so you never hit anything and it, it, it has uh there's stereo cameras in here there's, there's two little cameras that uh constantly monitor the road in front of you and all right another button well this is just uh your parking sensors off don't don't turn those off because you, you are going to hit something this car is quite huge then you have a 360 degree camera which you can see right here so you have 
Wow. So there's cameras on all sides of the car and it provides this 360 degree view. So if some dog uh, runs out behind your car and you can't see it because th there is a bit of blind spot right there in the C-pillar, yeah, you'll, you'll see it. This, uh, this car is, uh, you have complete, complete visibility. So we also have one of my favorites, night vision. So night vision basically, I don't, I don't even know what it's for. Is it for maybe low visibility light, low visibility when uh, there's rain or something, but it's really cool. So you can still see all the, all the gauges and all the, um, the speedometer and the, uh, the revs, but in the middle, there's just a, a nice night vision display. It's, uh, it's infrared. And uh, yeah, I mean, you, you could basically drive this car just staring at the gauge cluster, which is sort of <laughs> dangerous, but uh, I, I, honestly, I don't know why they did that. And what else do we have here? We also have this, which is, I don't know, it's probably from the Distronic or something. We have the uh, Burmeister, Burmeister stereo. Um, there's your heated, no, that's cooled. So we have cooled or ventilated seats. We've got heating and I don't know what that is. Hmm. Hmm. Well, we've got memory settings and here are all the power seat settings. All right, let me turn that off or else my, my ass is just gonna fry. So this is really cool. Obviously we have your, you know, window switches and you know, whatever that's standard. But right here we have the power shade power shade on the rear and then if you hit it once more then you get the window and I wonder if you can put out the power shade without the nope seems like you can't put up the the shade and the window uh, window down but whatever no car is perfect but on my car that is a manual shade Who wants to do anything manually on a Mercedes S-Class so this is the main console and I absolutely hate what Mercedes has done with their main console. It is really hard to get anything done. So let's see, okay, radio. If you get used to it, it might work okay for you, but just for me, uh, as far as ease of use, like I got into this car and it took me about 20 minutes to figure out what all these buttons and knobs do. So this is your auto climate control, but it's, um, it's dual zone in the front. I think there might be uh, another two in the back. Um, but uh, you have your fan of each individual person has their their own fan not really a, uh, a common thing for cars of this um, price range um, let's see menu what does that do ooh look at that oh, that is so cool I really love the, the attention to detail and, and the nice UI that they use so right here, here are the uh, the AMG uh, AMG specific buttons. So we have uh, sport and uh, and comfort. We're gonna leave that in comfort because there are a lot of potholes. We'll put that in sport maybe on the highway. You have um, comfort, sport, and manual. Uh, sport might that that actually might might be standard. What comfort does is it has a stop start system. Now the stop start system stops the car. So if I Let's see if I can if I can do it here. Let me turn the parking brake off and try not to slam into the car in front of me. And then I just come to a stop. No, it's not going to do it now, because I'm just in my driveway and Mercedes probably knows that. But what it, what it does is it stops the car and it's supposed to save on fuel and um, you know make it more. Uh, eco-friendly but with a 5.5 liter v8 I don't think you're really fooling anybody Mercedes so uh, I just leave that off I leave that in uh, in standard or manual because manual you use these nice little flappy paddle shifters which do feel good they're on the actual steering wheel instead of the column and uh, I like it I, I like the uh, flap paddle shifter I think this car uses the um, seven speed speed shift MCT the, uh, the the double clutch um, sort of automated manual thingy so this is the suspension 
um, suspension goes up and down. I think this is only two settings. So let's, when you press that, it says vehicle rising. And ever so slowly, I think this is an air suspension. It might not be the hydropneumatic suspension. Um, this is just an air suspension, so it takes a little bit, you know, a little bit of time. The tank is quite small, but it gets up there. It's it's extremely quiet. And um, yeah, that's as far as the AMG buttons go. On the C-Class, there there are um, you know buttons for the exhaust, and I think that needs to be here. Um, but this is an S-Class. It's not it's not meant for any sort of race or anything which is weird you know why, why would they make a an s63 amg model when it's not meant for racing any case so here is the uh stop start system uh volume control and i think this is on for yep that's just the on button for the infotainment system this is the uh, massaging uh seat functions so you press that and your, your massager comes up and you have lots of settings for massage Let's see, you have driver classic massage, mobilizing massage, active workout. Oh, do any of you want to go to work and get an active workout while driving to work? Hot relaxing massage just on your shoulders or a hot relaxing massage on your back. This is luxury, folks. I don't care what you drive, this is luxury. One thing that blows my mind more than anything else, let me move my seat a little bit back first I, I like this i like this uh this embroidering uh a falter back uh, i'm probably saying that way wrong but uh yeah there's the amg logo emblazoned on the uh, center um center armrest what's really cool is that there's a button here and if you press that button opens to, to one side and there's there's some uh here's my spare batteries for for stuff and you could probably put a phone in there or whatever what what is this for? Is this for like a, a Motorola Razor? What the hell? Uh, you have some some USBs. Um, yeah, you have two USBs. That's pretty cool. But that's not what blows my mind. So close this up and remember, this button makes this open up this way. On the other side, there's a, another button, and press that button, and it opens up that way. What the hell? This is this is just witchcraft. How like? So it has two hinges and they move independently. And I'm wondering, can I can I just take this entire thing off? Let, on, let, let me see. I'm gonna try not to break this uh, to break this Mercedes. Let me see. I press both buttons. Nope, it won't let me do it. It will not let me do it. So if we move up, 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 we see the controls for the sunroof, but the sunroof. It is quite a large sunroof, and there's a second one right there. So this is a panoramic roof. This does not slide back, but it does open up. What? Well, that's that's the wrong button. That closed that. Let me see. Maybe I. Nope. That's that's the wrong button. And now it's gotten pretty damn dark in here. Let me see if I can open this up. So if I hold, if I hold this button right here. There we go. Now it opens up just a crack, and it's uh, now you can look cool, like uh, you know, like sunroofs are new in the '90s, and you just uh, have that little little sunroof popped up a little bit, and you park, and uh, you know, you let all the heat out of your car, and uh, you look like a like a real badass. Or was that just me? That's probably just me. But that's not the best part about this car. Let me turn off this uh, night vision camera because it is it's like 10 in the morning. Uh, the best part about the car is, without a doubt, the engine, the 5.5 liter V8, 550 horsepower, bi-turbo beast that they put in the E-Class. I believe they also put it in the um, G-Class. This isn't the same engine as in the C-Class. That was a 4 liter, uh, but that was pretty cool, and this is even more so. So let me put it in standard or sport. You can just listen. Let me turn off. Turn off this uh, AC, and it's very quiet. It is an S class, but you can you can hear it. Wow, that thing! Holy shit! That thing revs like crazy. We got to get this on the road. All right, so a few minutes later, and a hearty breakfast. Uh, 
here's the car. And a few friends just for uh, just for social proof that this car is the freaking highway bruiser that its namesake makes it out to be. So all right, so let's check this out. Check this out. So we open actually, how do we open this up? All right, so that opens up. And one of the weird things about this uh, trunk, take that out. And I think this might be a cooler or something, but you can just press this, press this down. And this, look at this. What do you think you can put in here? Kids toys. Kids, Kids toys? toys. <laughs> I'm thinking you could probably, well, since this is a mafia car, I'm thinking you could probably put like, Two heads uh, that weigh no more than 20 pounds. Yeah, two heads. Well, a head is about like seven pounds, right? I think so. So, so like two heads and a bunch of ice. With or without blood? Uh, <laughs> well, I mean, if you drain them, they're probably full. Anyway. So you probably fit an arm or two, too. Press that button and it retracts up like that. And, and the heads. <laughs> yeah. So this opens up. And no spare tire, but there is a carbon fiber. Look at all this carbon fiber right here. Not bad. I don't know if the base model has a spare tire. I don't think it does because um, Mercedes does have a roadside assistance thing where you just press the button and uh, somebody comes out and changes your tire. But this, this is pretty cool. What the hell is this? Oh, there's pillows in here, like a like an airplane, like a first class seating arrangement. So we oh, have this. Yeah, a first aid kit. All right, so. Since we have some uh, some people here, I think we're gonna see what the back seat, you know, feels like, and uh, we'll see what what they think about it. Oh, this is cool too. So you press that. Look at that. Oh, so cool. Automated luxury. Got my cup holders. Right. So this is <laughs> this guy right in front of you. His name is George. And this guy is Alex. So, George is six foot what? Six foot uh, nineteen? <laughs> six foot four. Modest. And look at how much leg room he has. Yeah, it's pretty good. This is a uh, long wheelbase, and Alex is just you know you can you can land a plane in that space. <laughs> good, very comfortable. So awesome. So check these out. So this is the back, and there's four window switches. I don't even know what they do. I think this this is for the uh, sunshade or whatever and the side ones and the side so this one let's see okay that's window yeah you hit that one twice up okay and right so that's actually, power sunshade the quarter window has sunshade yeah. oh wow it comes out from the <laughs> left I mean, it comes out from the right. oh boy all right so let's see that again oh this is so cool <laughs> Oh, awesome! It's got like a panel too. Yeah, it's got it's got a little uh, hideaway panel, a little hottie panel. Dude, that's that's awesome. So you have the ventilated and heated seats, and let's see. Oh, yep, yep. Seat seat can go in, and it can it can also recline. Look at that! You don't see that in Kias. All right, so this has to do something, okay? So, it's all right, so back. that oh the back that retracts the, the rear, back the sunshade. Rear. Yeah. And what does that other button do? Oh, that, that's, that's for the uh, sunroof. Yes. Oh, the sunroof. Wow. And this one over here has a little extra launch forward button that I have no idea what it does. Oh, okay. Which that one does not have. Okay, so that is the captain's uh, captain's function. So, this basically you now control that seat with your seat control so look put that yeah <laughs> press that button see look at that <laughs> oh, yeah so now you have even more leg room that's yeah so amazing. that's that's awesome but uh i'm gonna get in the driver's seat because uh this thing needs to be driven it is an amg model so also check this out oh soft close gotta love soft close so I figured I'd take this car on some nice mountain roads to see what the acceleration and handling is like. And that would be jail time. And I have
uh, transmission in manual mode, this transmission being the seven speed DCT, or rather the MCT speed shift. Mercedes is putting all their AMG cars in it's, it's freaking amazing. Lumbar support for you guys. But yeah, yeah. So the lumbar support does does a weird thing. It has dynamic uh, lumbar support, meaning that if I throw it in a right hander like this, the left lumbar support, uh, like the left bolster, it uh, it will kind of hold me in place. What's that in the road? Okay, it's a leaf. So yeah, it, it will hold me in place and and just kind of give you a little bit like a little hug and uh, yeah it, it really does a lot to, to make sure that you're not squirming around and, and uh, moving around in these, these tough bends yeah so something like this so this is a 20 mile an hour bend but we're gonna go a little bit faster than 20 miles an hour I'm not gonna accelerate everything's smooth let's see if this can oh that's nice 15 mile an hour bend this should be a hairpin coming up Downshifts. See how this car handles itself. Oh, this is this is just great. Wow. It does not feel like a four thousand pound car. Holy crap! Oh my god. You know, one hundred sixty grand doesn't really feel like a lot at this point. One hundred sixty grand. That's basically your. Uh, regular uh, three-bedroom house in um, you know in a particularly bad part of New Jersey 160 grand ain't that much if you have the choice of getting mm, just like a house for your family or this car maybe it's time to tell it you know tell that family to <laughs> to hit the road because this thing is seriously worth it I want one so bad maybe I'll just get one in 15 years when they're like $5,000 <laughs> with 300,000 miles on them. All right, so I think that this is the best situation for this. Apparently, this Mercedes uh, can do semi-autonomous driving. What that mean? What that means is this thing can essentially drive itself up to 20 miles an hour. Now, I am in stop and go traffic. There is an accident somewhere up there. I'm on the New Jersey uh, Parkway, and I'm touching absolutely nothing. It's kind of veering off into the next lane but it's going to see the car in front of me hopefully and it's staying the lane like this is this is creepy I'm doing about 15 miles an hour i have my foot just above the brake but i'm not touching anything and if you look at the car in front like it's slowing down this thing will come to a stop but it, it, it's just it's really eerie for somebody that likes driving feel and like this is the complete opposite of that it is absolutely uh, as far removed from the engaging driver experience as, as you can get. But I sort of like it. I, I sort of like where this is going and uh, I'm, I don't know, I'm, I'm curious to see what the future will bring as far as semi-autonomous driving. This isn't perfect. This will kind of ping pong between the lanes uh, like it's doing right now because we're going you know, 15 miles an hour and these lane markers are a little far apart. But it's still performing beautifully we haven't hit anything i think that this is uh just an insane piece of technology and the fact that this can be had in basically a bone stock c-class that you can get for you know 50 grand or, or whatever that that's a big deal because that technology is going to go into regular cars i'm still not touching anything by the way not touching the wheel it's doing it all by itself and uh, i'm getting a nice massage and uh, I could fall asleep, who knows? You know, if this traffic doesn't go anywhere, take a nap. And it is nighttime and I am in New York. Uh, I have to give this car back. I only had it for about 24 hours, but Jesus, is this a good car. So, oh, and my microphone's falling off, but that's okay because I had a great time anyway, right? I gotta see if I'm missing anything this awesome nope doesn't look like there's anything missing now the car is going to go back to mercedes or whatever uh, i put about 200 miles on it and now i am going to give it back to uh, mr mike Rizzelli here from jalopnik but i will buy one uh, probably in 15 years when they're going to be like uh five or six grand so yeah that's uh that's about it 
if you like the video like comment subscribe whatever uh, if you didn't like the video dislike do whatever you want to do and uh, I'll see you next time